mailbag once again. So let's dive in and start with the first one. So, oh yeah, we don't need that. And there we have, <laughs> okay, uh, yeah. Thermal glue, uh, twice the amount I used last time when I tried to glue the heating elements to my laboratory water bath and that was an epic fail, uh, card link. So this is my plan B, not only this, but uh, some other little modifications. And uh, I already have a plan C and D if that should fail. So that was the thermal glue. Uh, yeah, uh, HY910. It's a Chinese product, but it was chipped from within Germany without any chipping, shipping costs, sorry, and 20 grams for 7 euro 99. Next, also a small envelope, and I don't need the knife for that. And it contains Ah, okay. Um, I think these are Chinese radar sensors or something like that. Uh, yeah, uh, let me get a close up, huh? So these are radar sensors or something, motion detector sensors uh, of Chinese origin, RCWL0516. And yeah, nothing much to say about it, but I uh, just noticed they run on 3.3 volts. Well, <clears throat> shouldn't be a problem for a 5 volt Arduino, I hope. And uh, yeah, of course, the light sensor here is missing. It's, uh, yeah, the electronics for it are all there, it looks like, but uh, yeah, there's even a pin, but it's not populated. Anyway, uh, more on these in a separate video. Um, moving on to the listing. And yeah, nothing new here on the listing. Yeah, uh, <laughs> for, oops, photo of them, sorry. And I bought uh, two pieces uh, at a price of 273. And yeah, shipment was free within Germany. Made in China, but shipped from inside Germany. And yeah, uh, if you want to know it, the seller was Naltronic underscore DE. So yeah, the Chinese are establishing German outlets, which is very nice because you don't have to wait too long for the stuff. And of course, it's a yeah, radar sensor motion. So uh, it's a motion sensor for the Arduino. But it's 3.3 volts. I hope the uh, output pin is uh, the level is high and high enough so that the Arduino can read it. Otherwise, I have to build a level shifter. Yeah. The last of the small envelopes. Okay. No, oh, I keep that. And I guess it's, okay, this is an invoice with my name on it. Let's put it away. More radar stuff. Uh, okay, let's zoom down. And these are HB100 Doppler radar sensors, obviously from China, but also delivered within Germany. And uh, yeah, all the, I, I don't know, 10, 11, 12 gigahertz stuff is uh, yeah going on in the can here. And then you have these two patch antennas for transmitting the signal. And then the two patch antennas here receiving the reflected signal. And internally it uh, uses a mixer to get the frequency difference between what it sends out and what it receives yeah uh, from the doppler effect if somebody uh, something or somebody is approaching or uh, yeah uh, going away from it 
um, anyway, uh, <laughs> on to the listing. And I should mention you cannot connect these things directly to an Arduino or microcontroller. You will need some electronics, some amplifiers, because they are 5 volt, ground, ground, yeah, uh, intermediate frequency, that's the output of the mixer. Uh, this is, uh, the output signal is in the millivolt range, I guess, and um, yeah. <clears throat> so there will be also some stuff going on here. So that's the Doppler radar motion sensor, okay? Uh, <laughs> for Arduino, Genuino, Uno and Raspberry, I guess. Uh, Anyway, as I mentioned, uh, you need some analog amplifier stage after that thing before you can do anything for uh, with it. And one piece was 580, also shipped from within Germany, and yeah, no shipping costs. And that came from uh, Aventer. So the the last. The last part reads online shop Aventer der Aventer der I have no idea. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm giving up. Okay. Uh, anyway, yeah, uh, another Chinese outlet inside Germany. Um, great. And for the last one, I finally need my knife here. Great. Sorry, that was out of focus for just a second. I expect there to be an invoice inside with my name on it or something. Yeah, but that's below here. So I have here <laughs> some uh, silicon hoses. Uh, yeah, two different sizes. I think, yeah, about -ish one meter each. Yeah, I need that for my distillery for some uh, little improvements. And now I have to do a little bit of flip magic or I will have to edit afterwards because that's the invoice and I have an 0.5 millimeter thin silicon sheet and this will be my gasket yeah to really water seal um, my laboratory water bath okay and yeah I don't think you really want to buy a uh, silicon or something but uh, anyway, I'll uh, show you the listing. And no, I won't <laughs> bore you with all three uh, listings. Anyway, um, I bought that from a seller in Germany named Saltec. And uh, it's not Chinese. That's really a German seller. And that was one meter of the smaller silicon tubing, 250. Uh, the larger one, yeah, uh, ID8, OD10, uh, 290, and the other one was <clears throat> ID10, OD8. And uh, yeah, basically that uh, silicon sheet, 0.5 millimeters, 300 by 210, for 530, and I have to scroll down if there was some shipping costs involved yeah maybe probably and that was today's mailbag uh, lots of uh, silicon yeah already polymerized and uh, some not polymerized for gluing and two pairs of different radar sensors so uh, there might be something cooking here on my side in regards to uh, gigahertz or uh, 10 gigahertz frequencies. Huh? We'll see. Until next time, bye.